The Grand Solar Cycle. Everything in nature moves in cycles. This presentation is based on the information revealed by the Masters Kutumi and El Moria in the Mahatma letters to A.P. Sinet in the 1880s. Other references used for this webinar are the books The Sanctus Germanus Prophecies Volume 2 by Dr. Michael Mao and The Secret Doctrine by Helena Blavatsky. Let's see what is the Holy Monad. The monad is an incarnation of the spark of life energy that is emitted from the sun, a solar logos or sun god, Amun-Ra. The great sun emits trillions of individual sparks of himself into his solar system. Each spark represents an individual life stream that adopts many mineral, plant, animal and human forms as it evolves. During its incredible lifetime, the monad assumes thousands upon thousands of forms, mineral, plant, animal, human, spiritual, as it transits through the grand solar cycle. This diagram depicts the grand solar cycle. A grand solar cycle lasts millions of years and is divided into seven rounds and seven pralayas. Each round is further divided into seven sub-rounds. Each sub-round is further divided into seven cycles. As the monad passes from round one all the way to round seven, it evolves from a mineral to a sublime spiritual being of an, over millions of years. What is a round and what is a pralaya? A round is a period of activity while a pralaya is a period of rest. Minor pralayas exist between sub-rounds. These are periods of minor destruction and cleansing. We are at the end of the Piscean Age and entering the Age of the Aquarius, so we find ourselves journeying through a minor pralaya as we speak. Major pralayas exist between rounds and are periods of obscuration and destruction that happen after each round. The next one is going to take place millions of years from now. At that time, the Earth will self-destruct and the monads will retire to another dimension and rest. They will then transfer onto a new planet of higher evolution. What purpose does the Grand Solar Cycle serve then? In the first half of the Grand Solar Cycle, each holy monad devolves into dense physical matter then evolves back into a more ethereal being through billions of years moving from round to round until it emerges after round 7 of the Grand Solar Cycle as even more advanced planetary spirit. We have just passed the halfway point of the Grand Solar Cycle which is located in the fourth round. From here on, humanity will very gradually evolve from tightly compacted humanoid forms into more ethereal forms as part of the evolutionary half of the grand solar cycle. Each round with its sub-rounds takes place on a different planet. 
The monad through the grand solar cycle, round one. On planet A, the monad finds itself encased first in mineral form, where it must pass through seven great classes of minerals. In each class, it must pass through seven more subclasses. After millions of years of experience on planet A, the monad passes into a state of rest, or a planetary pralaya, which is equal to the length of time it spent on planet A before it moves on to planet B or round 2. The length of time spent on planet A in round 1 is probably the longest. With each successive round, the length of time on the respective planet is accelerated. On planet B, the monad undergoes yet another long experience in the vegetable kingdom in every conceivable form of plant life. When all monads on planet B complete this long journey through the vegetable kingdom, they again enter a period of rest, a planetary pralaya, before moving on to the next planet. On planet C, or round 3, the monad experiences the animal kingdom in all its complexity. When all monads on planet C have incarnated in all forms of the animal kingdom, they will experience yet another planetary pralaya before they move on to planet D. On planet D, or round 4, the monads experience life on planet Earth. During the first half of the fourth round, the monads experience life in the most concrete and compacted form. In this form, the soul must express itself through the most solid form of present physical bodies. After the monads have completed their journey in the fourth round, they will enter into another planetary pralaya to prepare for round 5 on another planet within the solar system. This diagram shows where we find ourselves today. All monads will end up in the same result. For some, it might take less time, and for others, more time. And as Master Sancto Germano says, whatever road you choose, there will always be intersections of choice until your journey can be made hand in hand with enlightened. For more information, please visit our website. Namaste.